Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back and we're here with another Detroit Pistons My League episode. And we are, y'all should be seeing this Tuesday, November 24th. Like literally two days before Thanksgiving, man. And I hope all y'all have a good Thanksgiving, man. I really do. Me, I'm not a typical Thanksgiving kind of guy. I usually just eat like the rolls and stuff and lemon pie. I don't really like the turkey and all that, but it is what it is, man. If you're new to the channel, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's hop into it. So we left off right here at 16-1, man. This team's literally on fire. If we look at the player stats, um, Bobo's averaging 19. Like everyone's doing great, man. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people in double digit scoring, man. That's crazy. And the way this team is going, man, I really feel like this team is on the verge. Like we're going to win a chip, man. I really feel like we are going to win a chip. We have lost the Minnesota Timberwolves twice, and make it three times, man. We can't. The Timberwolves have our number, man. The Timberwolves have our number. Can we beat them here? And we do beat them here. So, honestly, I, they beat us twice. We're 18 and 2. I feel like they, they beat us twice already. I feel like I, I simmed it. I guess it didn't save or something. I don't know. We're 19 and 3 right now. And the way I feel like this team is going, man, we're on the verge of like. We're, on, we're, we're contenders, man. We are definitely contenders. And we're just going to roll, man. We're going to roll all the way to the trade deadline. I might hop in some games here. Um. I really, I really don't know, honestly, like, this team is just good, man. Like, we have the big man, we have the point guards, we have the shooting guards, we got defenders, perimeter defenders, we got rim protection, we got everything you need to win. It's just, is 2K going to let us go all the way and win or not, man? We are 27-3, man. This is the best record in the NBA, and everything's on normal, man. Like, I haven't cheated or anything, like. Simulator difficulties at 50, Hall of Fame. We're just doing that good, man. We're just doing that good, man. We're blowing teams out. Like, Bobo 37 and three. Oscar was 16 and three. Like, we just have so much depth. Taco Falls is even getting some minutes, man. Like, it sucks that Bruce Brown isn't, but we're just going around blowing teams out, man. Wiseman, it's like, and it's not the same person every night. It's always someone different. Let's go look at um the All-Star votes, see if we have any All-Star votes in there. And it looks like we have no one, honestly. Kind of does suck, but like I said, man, it's more of a team. It's more of a team preference of why we're winning, and not um, not um, one player. And we don't have any player of the weeks either. No one's on the player of the weeks for the Pistons in award races. I still don't think there's anyone. Maybe we got the rookie of the year, and Oscar is not even in the rookie of the year anymore. Uh, six men, no one for the six men. Defensive player, no one for us. Yeah, man. It's just, we're just literally winning as a team. We're winning as a collective, man. If we go to NBA records, I wonder if we could break the all-time record for um for records, but I don't think they have records a season. I know the Warriors went like 73 and nine or something. So what is in league history? Nah, Hall of Fame, Dwight Howard went to Hall of Fame, Kobe, Timmy, KG. Let's look at, let's go look at the standings. Let's go look at the standings real quick, because like I said, man, I'm stoked about this team, man. We're 28 and three, we're literally seven and a half games up from first place. And this is a team with Kyrie, Kevin Durant, and we're up here just blowing teams out, man. I will be, let's simulate the Simcast um, against the Hornets here. The Hornets, man, I feel like I should do a Hornets my league because the Hornets are still bad and we're in 2024 and they're still bad, man. Today, tonight's, um, tonight is literally, I was going to say the NBA draft because I'm recording this Wednesday, but when y'all see this, the draft will be over. But we are simulating with SimCast here and they're kind of competing with us, man. We kind of got away a bit, did we? Yeah, we're up. Yeah, we kind of blew him out towards the end. We have James Wiseman with 35 and four, Bobo 21 and five, 18. Like, this team is just dominant, man. We're 30 and three, we're not even at the deadline yet. I wanna to go to the trade deadline. And I'm just really stoked about, like I keep saying it, but this team is just on the verge of making history. 
they running five big men out there. They're just winning, man. We finally take a L to the Toronto Raptors. I wonder if this team could break the Warriors record. Let me know down in the comment section if you think this team's gonna break the Warriors 70, 73 and nine record. Uh, yeah, 73 and nine record. Contract extension, would you like to stop simulating? Yes, so we'll stop here at the contract deadline and let's go see if we have anyone that needs an extension. Dejounte wants to test for agency. We do have bird rights and eligible test for agency. So we do got some people coming off of contracts and Miles Turner, we're not gonna have bird rights on. So hopefully we win a chip this year. I should've gave him a two year deal, honestly, but I gave him a one year deal. Um, so in this upcoming off season, we should have roughly 54 million in cap space. But we do got taken James Wiseman too, man. So let's simulate with Simcast against this Raptors team and maybe jump in a bit. And I kind of want to make this more of an interesting type of thing, man. It's usually the same thing I do every time. And we, are they coming back? Nah, not really. It's a 10 point game. We won by 10. Bobo with 35. And then we'll try this last one with the Heat. If it doesn't work, man, we're going to go see what we can do to about other teams. See who's like, maybe we need a, a better bench piece. Like, this team is winning, man. Like, we really don't need anything as we're getting blown out by Miami right now. Uh, we're kind of sparking a comeback. We might hop in this game, man. Um, We're down 10 with three minutes. Let's see if we can make a comeback, man. So we're here, man. And we do get the ball, and they're running the five big man again, besides Lonzo's out there. And we got Oscar with the ball, trying to post up somebody. He's wasting valuable minutes here. And you want to pass the ball, bro? And he's trying to cross someone up where you can't really cross up. Good pass to Lonzo. Lonzo should have shot that, man. Lonzo still hesitates from shooting the three. That's a good shot. Can he make it? And he breaks it. So two minutes, 40 seconds, down 10. They do got Kyle Lowry in uh, Miami now. Um, Jimmy Butler's there, but is that De'Aaron Fox? It looks like De'Aaron Fox over there, but I don't think it is. You gotta block that taco. Good block by taco, man. That's what I'm saying. We got a lot of rim protection out here, man. Give it to Bobo. Oh, good take. Good take by Oscar. Is Oscar low-key a playmaker? I want to check his stats, man. They do be dribbling the ball like he's a playmaker. I want to see what his playmaking stats is, man. Because the dude has literally 10 and 8. What's his ball handling? His ball handling is a 42. This dude be handling the ball with a 42 ball handling. I mean, I guess that's kind of good for a big man, but I don't know, the dude just, he reminds me kind of like Lonnie Walker when he wasn't really getting playing time as rookie year for the Spurs. He would just come in like crunch time minutes and just want to ball hog all the, time, all the time and score. But I feel him, man. I feel like why he would want to do it just because yeah, he wasn't really getting any playing time and he wants to shoot the ball. But we kind of got to get stops here. We got DeJounte out here. We have DeJounte clamping up, whoever that is. Oscar's still out there against Bam Adebayo. Good defense by Oscar. Like, I, he finally passed the ball. They finally threw it up. That's a dunk by Seiko Dumia. And man, we might be coming back. Miami just called two straight timeouts, man. Miami's on the verge of like, oh shit. We about to blow a lead to this team. Man, if Detroit, if the Pistons got this good, man, I, I would feel good for Pistons fans. The Pistons have been ass for a while, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, they made the playoffs as the eighth seed, but they haven't really been contending. Like they haven't been up there with um They haven't been up there with like how the Spurs have always been winning and consistent. Like OKC when they had Harden and Durant. And I understand that the Pistons haven't really ever had players like that, Harden and Durant. But I don't know, man. I just hope they hit on the draft picks. Good pass to DeJounte. Um, they're double teaming DeJounte. Good pass to Oscar. Oh, wow. That's not goaltending? That wasn't goaltending? He snatched that shit. Man, he just saved a bucket. But that's, this is good defense by Dumia. Oscar wants to get him back, and he does. Good defense. That was a terrible shot by Adebayo. Throw it up to DeJounte. Lonnie. I mean, Lonnie. Lonzo. Damn, he, he got, you gotta give it to Seiko Dumia. He got that little dude on him. Are you serious? That's a bad shot by DeJounte, man. Seiko Dumia had some 5'11 dude on him and they didn't pass it to Seiko. The AI is just weird sometimes, man. Oscar's out here grabbing every board. 
but I'll give him that. We gotta score fast, man. We gotta push it. He had Seiko do me on the corner and he passed. Good pass to Oscar. Well, we're down four. We should have been down two, honestly, but don't foul. There's no need to foul right now. Y'all serious? I really don't think there's no need to foul right now. If they're gonna foul, man. Yeah, shoot that. Kevin Porter Jr., damn. Kevin Porter Jr. just hit the dagger on us, man. I really didn't think he would hit that. So we'll just send the game. And we lost by two, man. James Wiseman, 28, 10. Lonzo, 17, and eight. Four for 18 shooting, though, that's pretty bad. Four for 18 shooting for Lonzo. Seiko Dumio had 15. And then Oscar did his, Dejounte 11, five, and 10. That was kind of some bad shooting from Lonzo, man. Not even gonna lie. We are gonna send a couple more games and then we're gonna look at the trade deadline, see if we can get something for the trade deadline. I know we really don't need anything. Just for the fact that we are, we're competing, man. Like we're winning. We really don't need anything, but I will check. I will check um, what we can do, man. I'm really happy about the playoffs, so I wanna hit 40 wins before this video ends. So let's just see until we get 40 wins, man. And we take back-to-back -back L's for the first time this year too, man. Um, that's not really something you want to see, but we did hit the 40 win mark, so we'll stop right here. We are 40 and seven. Are we still seven and a half games in first place? We're six games in first place. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, let's go look at all the players' morales and see how they're doing, man. So Lonzo is very happy here as he went up to 87. Lonzo, his morale's at a 75, damn. I'm upbeat with the way things are going right now. So he's pretty he's pretty happy. James Wiseman's in the middle. I'm feeling perky about everything that's been happening. That's cool. DeJounte is up there too. I am perky with the current situation. And then Oscar is cool with his minutes. I'm pleased with the current situation. Bobo. I feel upbeat. Yeah, they're all saying the same thing. Miles Turner. Miles Turner's the one that's mad, man. I feel, he says, I believe I should be a bigger part of this team's game plan. I feel uneasy with the way things are going right now. So we might see what we can get from Miles Turner. He's only getting about, he's only getting about 10 points a game. What are his minutes like? He's only getting 25 minutes a night, which isn't too bad, honestly. Seiko Dumia is cool with his stuff. I've been proud of the way the team has been playing lately. I'm satisfied with everything that's been happening. Christian Wood is probably upset. Christian Wood's actually happy, man. 75 morale. I'm feeling happy about how things are around here. And then Taco should be cool too, man. My usage rating in games has been where I expected it to be. I feel, be, yeah. And then Bruce Brown, I feel tolerable with how things are going. I've been disappointed by the usage of past few games. So if I can move on from Miles Turner, what could we get? Cause Miles Turner is not happy. He doesn't want to win a ring, I guess. If we can get some other type of power forward, um, I will do it. But it doesn't, I could get some bonus, but I don't want to get with Christian Wood. Um, we could get Obi and Anobi. And get, they have, we have to get Cam Reynolds though for Dylan Brooks. Mm, I don't know if I want Obi. I don't know if like that would be realistic. Um, we'll probably just keep Miles Turner. <laughs> I would get Jaron Jackson Jr. Nah, man. Uh, we could do Chris Boucher and Dario Sarge. Let me know down in the comment section if we should trade Miles Turner for Chris Boucher. Chris Boucher and Dario Sarge. I feel like that would be realistic. And, or we can try Jeremy Grant here. He is a low over, but we do get Gary Harris who can help as well. Or should we just keep Miles Turner, man? Let me know down in the comment section what y'all think. We are 40 and seven. We are the top of the East, man. We are the best team. Detroit's finally coming along, man. If you enjoyed these videos, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.